All right, guys, good morning. So we are going to jump into, uh, what was it called? Uh, the to me thing. So I think it's pretty like old and done now, but there's still people trying to find out how to do it. So this is just going to allow you to show you how to get the setup done of your picture. So I have this picture of this guy from Entourage. Uh, I would take a picture myself, but I just got out of bed. So probably not the best thing. Don't want you having nightmares. So let's say for instance, this is uh, your picture. Okay. And you're gonna have this on one layer, as you must see. You're gonna add a new layer. Then you're gonna grab uh, a black. You can choose whatever color you want. It's completely up to you. Uh, whatever your kind of straight line brush you want. So let's just grab that, I suppose. Let's see how this comes up. Yeah, that's fine. So, and obviously you're gonna do the lines across his face. Now you have to bear with me because obviously I have that crack in the middle of my screen, which is awesome. And just continue it down. So, I mean, could change this slightly. Let's add the nose. Yeah, that'll do. Whatever. So do some kind of line. Make sure it joins all the way to the bottom, joins all the way to the top, yeah? So one section is obviously going to be, you know, where you're going to draw, or if you draw that side, it's up to you. But obviously one side's going to stay the photo, the other side is going to be what your face is going to end up looking like cartoon-wise. So the next thing to do is duplicate this layer here. Uh, turn off the bottom layer, okay, and staying on this middle layer here, uh, we are going to erase this side. So, quick and easy way of doing it. You don't have to worry too much about being too close to the black line. As long as you don't go over it, that's fine. Like I just did then. Close it. So just go all the way down, just follow the line. And then we're gonna use the selection tool and just clear the layer. So you'll see that in a second. And this is kind of a quick, easy way of doing this. So just kind of do I usually do this so you can see it. I mean, you could really just do the selection tool straight away in all honesty, but, so you wanna make sure it's set to free hand, <coughs> excuse me, and then start, just go along, making sure you stay inside the white. So you have little ant tray as it were outside I missed that corner which isn't brilliant but got a rough idea okay join it up to your trail click on the layer and then press clear and then I can just go in here get rid of that and you can go in and tidy up whatever you want so now you've got your section of your face that's still gonna be the photo and then the section you're gonna work on now, to give you an extra tip while we duplicated the layer, and turn that layer on, and then all you're gonna do is drop the opacity. So you can either do that from the adjustments layer, or you can press this N and then drop the opacity. Now you see a lot of people, they do the same thing where, you know, they'll go in here now, and then they'll trace their face. It's up to you. If you want to put some flair on it, 
or make it your own, your own kind of style. That was kind of the whole point, I guess, of, you know, the, the tune me challenge was to give it some oomph and a bit different. So, but you can go in, you can just trace all this, however you want to do it. But, you know, I'm on the eraser tool right now. But that is basically the setup of how to get you to this point. And then after that, draw your little tomb character or whatever you want to do. Once you finish drawing, all you would do is turn this layer off and you'd be left with your drawing. You want to make sure that you're drawing on a new layer. Okay, so when you trace this image or draw in your own style, you want to make sure you start with a layer above so that you're not drawing on this layer. Okay, and then you can just add on top and top, and then once you finish, merge them together or carry on so you don't have a destructive layer, as it were. Well, hopefully, that's helpful and uh, gets you to the point. I know there's a few people that ask about the whole I don't know, all I see is people do this like the actual to me, but they don't show you how to do it. So hopefully that gets you to the point where you can just get in there, gives you a rough idea of where to start, and then you can start doing your drawings. And if you're way behind like I am, you can still do it to me if you so wish. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.